Hey, I'm James with Bob Mayberry Hyundai, and today we're going to look at Android Auto in the 2016 Hyundai Sonata. All right, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our Android device. This is a Nexus 5, um, and we're going to plug it in to the USB cable, and then the other end just goes right down here in the car's port. And it'll take a second to read the USB, and it'll be good to go. Okay, so here we have Hyundai's um, standard infotainment screen, and you can see since our device is plugged in, we have an indicator of our phone's charge, as well as the Bluetooth connectivity and the network signal. Um, to access Android Auto, we're just going to hit this icon here and let it load for a second, and right there's our, our home screen in Android Auto. Um, you'll notice the design of it is very similar to the Google Now menu, if you use that on your computer or phone already, it's the same design language is that. But what we have here, just some quick looks at the information that um, Google or Android thinks are most helpful while you're driving. So the main functionality is um, split up into icons along the bottom here. We have navigation through Google Maps, of course. We have phone for calling, and this is the main menu here. And then as well, we have audio for music that's through Spotify or Google Play Music. And then this icon here allows us to return to Hyundai's interface if that's what we want to do. So we'll go back to the main menu here to start. Um, and I'll just kind of show you, there, there are little cards here that have just a quick glance of information that you might want. So this is my, um, excuse me, my estimated time to get home right now from Google knowing where, where my address is. Uh, this is the weather right here in Monroe. And then we have some recent phone calls we've made if we were calling someone back as well as just some suggestions of traffic in the area. So if I want to go to Maps here, it, it's a really familiar interface. It's the same design as Google Maps on the computer or on your phone that you're already familiar with. Um, you've got pinch to zoom functionality, uh, as well as searching and, and zooming through all your locations there. The menu system is up here in the upper left. Push the little hamburger icon there, and we have choices like recent places, and categories and traffic and all the functionality of Google Maps. Um, so we'll keep going here. This is the phone menu and what it's going to show me, it's not going to give my full contact list, it's just going to show me the recents and who I'm most likely to call. It knows that through my activity and history. And then here as well if I go up to the menu you have options, um, the full options of your phone's functionality. So I could go to my voicemail or we could bring up the actual dial pad if I had a number I needed to call. Um, as well as my history and my missed calls there. So then this icon is back to the main menu. Music is another big functionality here. Um, this is Google Play Music is loaded up here now. You have the options when you lo when it loads initially to choose between Google Play and Spotify. Um, so I, I loaded in Google Play. They both work nicely. Um, so I, I can choose some of the music I've been playing lately and you can just hit play and you can hear that in the stereo. You can change tracks, you can, all the functionality of Google Play Music is built onto the screen and visible from there. We'll pause there. And that's, there we go, there's my choice between Google Play and Spotify if I just tap the headphones icon in the bottom here. So there is your music functionality, which I think is probably the one that will get the most use between that and, and directions. Um, to go back to the menu here, one of the functionalities that uh, this thing is based off of is all through voice recognition um, because the whole premise is to, to have your hands off your phone and off of your device for safe driving so the idea is that anything you want to accomplish can be achieved through requesting it from voice commands so there is a button in the upper left corner of the steering wheel controls that will bring up the microphone and allow you to talk through the microphones in the car uh, so you don't have to yell about what you'd like it to do. So let's see, just to give an example. Send a text to Ben Richardson. What's the message? Hey Ben, I'm sitting in a Sonata playing with Android Auto. Here's your text to Ben Richardson. Hey Ben, I'm sitting on a Sonata playing with Android Auto. Do you want to send it? No thanks. No problem, I deleted it. So like any voice recognition, I uh, got most of what I said, but not all of it. And It does a good job of anything your phone would pick up or any of the, the functionality you're used to that having, it does a good job doing it through the car. 
with just the press of one button. That also works for music or maps or, yeah, let's see. Play music by the black keys. All right. All right, but it has us playing black keys radio. Uh, so yeah, any of the functionality that voice messaging will work on your phone will work here as well in the car. And that's the main idea. You can also, instead of hitting the button on your steering wheel, you can hit the upper left here and give it a command at any point in time. Um, where's the nearest Walmart? Walmart Supercenter is at 2406 West Roosevelt Boulevard, Monroe. Would you like to get directions? Yes. Walmart Supercenter is seven minutes from your location by car. Here are your directions. So there you can see it brings up all the information I needed as well as the actual directions and choices between the three routes um, as you're used to with Google Maps. So there's some of the functionality behind what Android Auto is made to do. The whole idea is just to get um, drivers off of their phones and looking at the road while using voice controls and having your information available at a glance. Um, and it'll, it'll read text messages or relay phone calls or anything you might be tempted to do while you drive. This has it covered in um, a nice user interface. Uh, the last functionality I want to point out is, let's say you are not a big Spotify user or Google Play Music, perhaps you just like FM radio or some of the standard car functionality. If I go back out of our menu system to Hyundai and I can turn on just standard radio ABC or tonight. XM if you had it or you know AM, FM, the regular options, and I can play the radio here while I go back to my menu and reaccess Android Auto. So you can hear there it's still playing while I'm going through Android Auto's interface. And then if I change the, the radio station or you know the tuner, you can see it appear along the top telling me what I'm doing without ever leaving the interface. So that's just another option. You're not stuck with the internet-based audio that they give you there. So that's just a quick look at Android Auto and some of the functionalities in the 2016 Hyundai Sonata. Um, be sure to subscribe to this channel and we'll have some more videos for you guys soon. Thanks.